Coming off of the first movie, the question is, what happens when the leader of your moral center, what happens when that's gone? How does Superman's death impact his world? The beginning of the reign of the Superman, I think, is straight to kind of introduction of these replacements. These four Supermen, what do they each represent? You really saw Lois take control of the story. What if one of them really is Clark, reborn? Are any of them the real Superman or a trace of the real Superman? Superman represents hope. And at the end of Death of Superman, that hope is lost. The question of where we go from there is what we're trying to explore with this story. We learn from Superman Doomsday, deliver the full novel. We're gonna cover the complete story as a two-parter. We were able to take the book and amplify it, kick up the stakes a little bit. So the threat, it's more threatening than ever. The four Supermen, um, they each have their own agenda, some good, some bad. Superboy is, they'll say it's Superman if he'd been raised by the Kardashians. John Henry Irons represents the humanity and heart that is that Superman brings to the show. The Eradicator represents the quarter of Superman that is the last son of Krypton. Cyborg Superman is really the power of Superman. He's just a little devoid of, of emotion. Death of Superman is about how we destroy our heroes, and Reign of the Superman is about how we make them. They both have a lot to say about, about us. When Superman is gone, is the hope gone? I think that we find it. We may not be able to bring the beat down, but we sure as hell can make some noise. Am I right?